Hey guys, David Fulmer here from Aerial Influence. You know, we love checking out new products from DJI. We've got something great to show you today. It's DJI Terra. We're gonna use the Phantom 4 RTK with it. Uh, Michael, what is the big deal about DJI Terra? Well, it's just kind of another component in the ecosystem of DJI. It's interesting that they're getting into the mapping side and we've kind of seen it a little bit before because of Ground Station Pro PC, but they've kind of wrapped this up into uh, kind of renaming it as Terra now. All right, well, I'm excited to check it out. Let's get things uh, started. I'll let you get set up and All we'll right. go from there. So what we're doing is we're gonna be plugging in the PC that's running Terra with the remote. So basically the remote and, and, and the PC and Terra will be talking to each other. Once the remote is turned on, Terra identifies the remote and then they kind of sync together. Okay, so as you can see here, it's showing this red arrow as far as where we are located right now. You come down to new mission, click new mission, and you can do waypoints, mapping, or obliques. So we're just gonna do mapping for now. Now you can basically put in your points. Similar to drone deploy, Pix 4D, maps made easy, all that kind of stuff. It's gonna pre-populate the lines for the overlap and I'll put the side overlap to 75. Camera, I'm just gonna white balance it for, it's a pretty sunny day, so we're just gonna go with sunny. Auto exposure. So it tells you the estimated photo count, the waypoint counts, the route distance, estimated time, so you'll know if you need to switch out batteries, that kind of thing. And then you can save it. I'm getting a weak RTK signal, yet, but it says RTK service type, none right now. So what you do, since we're using the DRTK2 mobile station, that's what I'm gonna click. Now people that are using uh, a custom network or a PP, Okay, that kind of thing, they might choose custom network. For our purposes, we're using the mobile station. It says connect, so we want to confirm that. It'll disconnect for a little bit, then reconnect, and then you should be good to go. All right, so back in Terra, we've got our map. I think I'm gonna just increase this and make it a little bit nicer of a map. or at least a little bit more overlap. So I'm actually gonna bump this up to 80. So now it's saying estimated 155 pictures. So you hit start, then it's gonna give you a checklist. Go through the checklist. Actually, you know what? Hold on, I'm gonna cancel that. I wanna check the height. Okay, yeah, this is what I wanted to change. I thought it was kind of a low picture. So right now it's at 328 feet. So I'm gonna move this down to about 200. So now it's bumping us up to 424 pictures. Save the mission. And now we will hit start once again. Gives us a checklist. We say okay, if everything checks out okay. And then you want all green arrows. When you hit start flight, it's gonna automatically take the Phantom 4 RTK up and it's going to basically automatically do your map for you.
All right, so we, we've landed. The mission was complete. It, all images downloaded, and it's wanting to start the 2D mapping. You can also set it where it actually gives you a live map, so it's similar to drone deploy as well. Um, but what we're gonna do is we'll, we'll take everything in, we'll take the SD card, and then start processing.